While the Super Bowl was held in Las Vegas, some might be surprised to find out one studio in Music City served as the starting point for the most viewed halftime performance of all time. This morning, we take you inside this Berry Hill studio to see how it was all made. 129 million views later, Usher's Super Bowl halftime show is now the most watched halftime performance in history. We walked off that stage with the confidence saying, you know what, we gave it our best. At the center of it all, two of Usher's producers who now call Nashville home. How do we encompass everything that Usher has been a part of? This is Bobby and Iz Avela. The two brothers have worked for Usher for years, dreaming of this moment. It's time to talk, Super Bowl. So I was like, bro, I just got this text. Serving as musical directors of the biggest performance of their life, their goal was clear. It's Michael Jackson Prince. and it's Prince, and we have to land somewhere, in between. somewhere okay. in between it. Once the call came through, they got to work. From going through Usher's extensive catalog to taking conference calls from inside this Berry Hill studio. It started like in the middle of getting, finishing the construction of this place. While the walls were still going up, they were preparing for one of the biggest performances of their life from start to finish. We're in Nashville. The first thing that we're getting ready to do now is the Super Bowl. And now this studio serves as the foundation for where Soundville will go next. It's the first telecast, right, that that was viewed since we landed on the moon. Yeah. So now we got to go to Mars. And their resume is quite extensive. Usher, Snoop Dogg, Billy Ray Cyrus, and so many more. And now they're ready for their next chapter in Nashville. It's home for us, and, and I think that's where we find our most comfort working within our home. The reason is simple, Music City. There's nothing better than getting off a plane and, and, and hearing a girl sing her heart out playing acoustic. They hope to foster more diversity in the music business to finding the next generation of talent. If it's not the Super Bowl, it's, you know, it's releasing a new artist uh, that, you know, no one's ever heard and developing that artist. Finding inspiration from their performance in front of the world. Icing on the cake for the Super Bowl story for me is being able to wave to our parents in the stands. Not to mention the team they followed all year long brought home another Vince Lombardi trophy shortly after their star-studded performance. Super Bowl KC fans, I'm with my brother. Mom and dad are in the stands. Our kids are with us. You know, you're, you're trying to keep it together. Just one year ago, the successful duo was watching the big game at home and now not just attending, but performing on music's biggest stage. There's all these things going through your, through your head, but when you have that moment, um, you really start to appreciate the journey even more. Three decades later, the Avela brothers cross off a major bucket list item, ready for their next chapter in Music City. Reporting in Nashville, Blake Eason, News 2.